for fun and today we're gonna play in the key of G and what we're gonna be talking about is country music voicing and that was what I was doing right there is giving you an example by not just staying on top of one chord going through a old country song and like <laughs> player and the rhythm people pick up that part. show you that so uh, we'll do that but also today I want to do the hump day report starting off with I know everybody is out there is having cold weather and I think this cold weather come from up around Michigan Indiana and Ohio and uh, across the Midwest up in there and uh, Midwest North so I want y'all just come on back down here and get your cold weather out of the backyard and take it back up north because we would seen enough of it and it was nice while it was here but we ready to get sunshine back down here in the sunny south and another note I want to say and I want to say that I kept an eye on the uh, Second Amendment rally up there in Virginia it went off just as I figured it would. They didn't have no kind of trouble. And the neat thing is, I don't know if y'all paid attention to this, they had thousands and thousands of people there. And you know what? When them people left, they picked up the trash. They picked up all the trash that was on the ground that other people threw down and took it with them. And that place was probably cleaner after all them fine folks left the rally than it was before they got there. You know, and they had, uh, I guess the governor got scared because he put a big old chain link fence up around the uh, Capitol building. So I'm thanking y'all got his attention and I appreciate what each and every one of y'all done. I wish I could have been there. I had to go to work that day, but I'm a firm believer in the Second Amendment. It's, it's our right, and I don't think nobody got the right to take away our rights to defend ourselves, because the way I always said, if you don't like a gun and you don't want a gun, don't buy a gun. But just because you don't like a gun and don't want a gun, don't try to force the fellow next to you that likes and wants a gun. Don't try to force him into what you believe. Don't ram your beliefs down his throat, because he might be the fellow you got to call when somebody's out there shooting you up or shooting at you whenever you in trouble what's the first thing you do you dial 911 and guess what when the police show up they bring a gun with them guarantee that 
Anyway, I just want to say that I support y'all and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for such a great, peaceful rally without incident. Now, I know for a fact you got everybody's attention. I want to thank the groups that come from other states. I've seen a group from Texas there. I, and I think I've seen some from Alabama, Louisiana, and Georgia there. And I watched all the videos on it just to see what flags was there and who all was there. And, I want to thank you because Virginia is one of our northern southern states and you know we don't want nothing bad to happen to Virginia because whatever happens up there is going to be like a domino effect and tumble back down on us here in Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Texas and all West Virginia and places in between you know and the Carolinas. We, we don't want that rammed down our throat. Just leave us alone, folks, and we'll be all right. Because I guarantee you, there wasn't nobody shot. All them people that was toting guns, I didn't hear no guns shooting off or nothing like that. Peaceful rally. Them people know what they's doing. They're good citizens. I've seen a lot of the ladies speaking. Now, who would uh, provide, you know, who would want to prevent a lady that wanted to take a gun and defend herself? I mean, that's just shame on them. Shame on you government in Virginia for thinking up such a law. Anyway, with that being said, let's go to the lap steel voicings. That's what I'm calling this lesson today. I'm tuned up in an open E. I put a tuning right up there, and, and that's one of my favorite tunings. You can play it in open uh, G, the way I showed you on the G or open D, whatever. Don't matter, C6 will even work. But I'm gonna zoom y'all in, so stand by for the zoom in. And All right, welcome back to the zoom in. And I tried to pick the camera up high as I could. And uh, got the, uh, we're gonna start off in a G chord. And like I was showing you, voicing style. picking fingers and I am picking the uh, fourth the fourth and the third string watch this then I'm skipping to the next two and what I'm doing with my bar is third string and then move to the third and the fourth. That's what it sounds like. But I'm doing this. to go to your D chord. And then when, instead of sliding all the way back to the C on one strum, I'm hitting the second and the third string. And right there, I hit the third string, kind of a banjo roll type thing.
that's right, but I hear them that second and third then skip to the next two strings coming up to your lower end. Then grab that high E. patterns what it is the two and three string then go back one fret then skip two now what I did then was when I went from the C over to the G, I hit strings three and one. I skipped the middle one like this. Then I grabbed two. My windshield wiper effect. That's another thing when I'm playing. making it sing. I just went like But by doing that, and that's another thing. That is your scale. That one, two, three, string, third string on third fret. That's a G note. You go. Hit a whole step to the next string, then a half step, whole step, whole step, whole step.
just at your higher G. playing by ear. You just get voices.
And another thing is, you need to practice that for what I was telling you about, putting them two dragon fingers right there, keep them on that neck. <laughs> a single. See that finger right there? It's on that. somebody's playing and I'm watching what them little hands of theirs are doing because I want to know how and where they getting that sound from you know and I got a pedal steel guitar you can make all them sounds that I was making on lap steel by moving a pedal I can be playing that G chord right there at the third fret on my pedal steel push two pedals down and it'll go all the way to the D chord I mean to the yeah it'll go all the way to the C chord which is the four chord, which it'll come up to here. I mean, that's how many steps they are between it right here, and it'll make a C. And if I hold that pedal down, move down two more, and I got a D chord without having to come way down here to do my D. So that's pretty cool. Match one pedal to make an I, a minor also in that thing without having to slant the bar to keep it straight. Anyway, I hope the lesson today was valuable and helpful to somebody out there and if uh, nothing exciting happens or nothing blows up, I'll, uh, I hope to see everybody for the Sunday report here at the Country Cuss Show. And I hope everybody out there is going to stay warm today and this week. Looks like the whole week's going to be a cold week. So anyway, thank y'all for stopping by and I hope y'all have a great week. If you're not subscribed to the Country Cuss channel here go ahead and <coughs> click that red button down there and i want to thank you for stopping by <laughs>